We live in a country where we are blessed with sunshine and there's an abundance of sun every single day. So why aren't we using the sun's energy to power our homes, to power businesses? Today we're situated on top of a roof in Midrand. This is a company called Mustek. This company has deployed hundreds of these solar panels on the roof of this company, linking it into their system and saving thousands of rands worth of electricity every single month, simply by using the energy of the sun. We'll find out more about the Mustek rooftop project using all of these solar panels. These panels are generating 250 watts per hour. So four of them, one kilowatt. What we really wanted to do here was to, to, to set a foundation to create a new business and new job opportunities for hundreds and hundreds of new businesses. What happens if there isn't any sun? What happens if it's a cloudy day? If it's a cloudy day, then we lose energy. Obviously, we, we just we, the, the panels need to see direct sunlight. If there are cloud in the way, then it reduces the amount of power. So these panels measure almost two meters in height and almost a meter wide. It's incredibly bright up here. That's why we're wearing these special sunglasses because the reflection of the roof, and you may notice that they are pointed in a certain direction so they get the maximum uh, energy from the sun to turn it into electricity. And all of these panels are connected to each other and they feed into one main system which then feeds into the electricity system of this particular building. So we are situated in this room now where all of these solar panels are feeding. You saw the solar panels are all connected to each other, but there's like one really big cable that's coming in over here and all the energy is being generated over here. Murray Salvi is the IT manager at Mustek and uh, can you explain to us what all of this is, Murray? During the peak of the day, yes. um, the system is, uh, can produce up to 200 kilowatts. Okay. So on um, this particular panel, we would have half of that energy. Um, and then there's an identical panel next door which will then move us the similar amount. Okay, so these little boxes behind me are converting the power from DC, which is where the sun is generating the DC into the panels, and these are turning it into AC so that we can use them for electricity because you can't just take the panels and plug them directly into a computer, right? No, you can't. Okay, so Mike, how much electricity are you actually saving? What we did, Aki, over the last few years, We've been paying City Power, obviously, and we've been looking and tracking all the payments for the last six Junes, or yes. July, sorry, for the yes. last, since 2008. And as you can see, back in July 2008, we were actually using 318 megawatts for the month, then 319, 270, 260, 275. As we've tried, we've actually had 11% savings over those years. Right. So you can see from today that Companies like Mustek are saving thousands of rands a month. The price of solar panels is at such a point where it's economically viable for companies to install them. The question has to be is why we're we not seeing more of these kinds of installations because if a company like this is saving on average 80,000 rand a month, which translates into a million rand a year, which trans translates into 10 million rands over 10 years, imagine what you could do with that kind of money. Eyewitness News, in touch, in tune, and independent. For the latest, log on to ewn.co.za or ewn.mobi.